The drone cell is a cell phone for your electronics, microcontroller, or robotics projects. It gives your system wireless connectivity. Using the drone cell, your project can call, text, go online, basically do anything that your normal phone can do. The drone cell can be easily interfaced with nearly any microcontroller or computer. So you can get your system up and running in a matter of minutes. The drone cell was designed with the prototyping environment in mind. It's breadboard compatible and can be powered by any voltage between 5 volts and 16 volts. It's small too, at only 5 centimeters by 5 centimeters. The actual interface is just two rows of header pins, with the bulk of the communicating being done through the RX and TX lines. As you can see right now, I'm just connecting the TX and the RX lines, and then I'm going to connect the power and ground line. And now I can just interface it to any series of device, either to the Beagle board, the Roboduino, the Axon, really any device that has UART and power. So for example, on the Roboduino, I would just connect power. then connect the RX and TX and voila the drone cell would be up and running and up fully operational or let's say I didn't want to connect to the Roboduino let's say I wanted to connect to my Beagle board similarly I would just plug it straight in to the TX and RX lines that I drew out connect power ground and now my Beagle board would be able to call text go online transfer information, really do anything. Or, on a device that doesn't have headers, I can pull out the wires and use its breadboard compatibility. For example, on this FT232 USB to TTL serial, I can just plug it straight in. I just push it straight in, breadboard compatible pins, and now I can connect this to my USB and control and talk to my drone cell from my computer. The other pins on the header are status pins. And what they let you do is allow you to check any operation or any specific status. For example, you can read the output of the SIM presence pin of the SIM card to see whether or not a SIM card is connected. On board, as you saw, is a SIM card holder, so you can easily pop in and pop out SIM cards and swap them out. Other features include the antenna connector, the push button for power, and the incorporation of heavy filter capacitors all over. One especially useful feature are the LEDs. Over here the power LED and the status LED. And what these LEDs do is allow you to visually see what's happening, what's going on. So for example, I'm just connecting power Here's my battery, just a 7.2 volt battery, anything from 5 volt to 16 volt would work. I connected power on my drone cell. I'm um, flicking, flicking the switch for power. And as you can see, the red LED went on, signifying power. And now to turn it on, I can either hold down the push button or pull the power key pin low. So for just for this demo, I'm going to hold down the button, two seconds. And as you can see, the yellow light flashes, signifying network seeking and when this stops flashing or starts flashing less frequently in a wider period then that signifies network connection. To turn it off I'll just hold it down again for two seconds and it's off. So what kind of applications does this drone cell have? What sort of things can you build with a drone cell? You can implement the drone cell into UAV into a high altitude balloon and get live wireless data reporting such as GPS coordinates, altitude, and even an intermittent video stream. Or you can stick it in your car for a remote start using your cell phone or perhaps just for a text message alert anytime your car alarm goes off. Just take your drone cell, connect the UART pins, the power pins, any status pins you'd like to your respective microcontroller, your Roboduino, an Arduino, Axon, Beagle board, or maybe to a small laptop and you can be able to do all this. Or, 
perhaps you want to think outside of the box and hook up the drone cell to some sort of home automation system and you can wirelessly control the thermostat and or lighting or maybe even alarms via text, call or over the web what will you build with the drone cell?